Day four, starting right now. So we're at Oxford Reformed Christian School. Today, Andre will be giving two presentations to different classes. And then from there, we head on out to Chatham for our presentation tonight. So school is out at Oxford Reformed Christian School. As you can see behind me, all the students are getting on the bus and going home. We're getting in our van and heading off to the next stop, which is in Chatham. And that's where we're gonna be presenting tonight. So we hope to see a great crowd out there. Last night was awesome. We had over, I think it was over 300 people at Fergus. So we're really hoping for a great turnout tonight. See you then. Yeah, so we're just reading a National Post article that got published today by Jonathan Kay, where he's calling out basically every federal leader of the uh, during this election campaign about the issue of abortion. He says it's absolutely ridiculous that our progressive elites, progressive, which is the theme of our fall tour actually, but uh, what is progressive, who's progress? He's saying all the progressive elites are shutting down uh, or attempting to shut down the abortion debate, but he's like, it's not for you guys to shut down. In fact, uh, the debate's happening, what you like, whether you like it or not. In fact, tons of Canadians, reasonable Canadians, want to have this debate. We want to have this discussion about uh, when human life begins and when we should be protecting human life. So it's an excellent, excellent article. Uh, National Post, Nas uh, Jonathan Kay, uh, today. It's published today on Wednesday, September the 12th, I guess. Yeah. So. And he goes on to quote, a lot of the polls that we go to, 61% uh, agree that either there should be some laws, we should have abortion, uh, we should have abortion laws severely restricted, except in cases of sexual assaults. Uh, he says these numbers haven't changed. Like, we don't have support for this complete lack of abortion law that we have in Canada. There's actually a lot of support for some reasonable measures. So very encouraging to seeing journalists uh, mm -hmm. talk about these issues that we're really passionate about, too. Yeah. So anyway, we're just taking a quick break, we're gonna grab our dinner, and then we're setting up at the Chatham Church uh, for another presentation tonight. So we arrive in Chatham. As people are filing in here, we realize that the internet is 3G, which is like Stone Age. This is the one who saves us from the 3G problems. She's got a clipboard and she's ready to take down names and emails and all your information. People clap. You don't have to clap, but a lot of people clap when they announce that. So we just finished our presentation in Chatham. We met a couple people who were instrumental in Windsor and Tabitha is gonna interview them about that. I was really excited here in Chatham tonight to have friends all the way from Windsor. It's about a 45 minute drive and they came out and I'm so happy that especially uh, Lori and Catherine came because these people are, are really active in the pro-life movement. So I, I was wondering, you guys wanna just talk about what you guys do in Windsor um, and the work that you're doing there. Um, I've been the volunteer coordinator for 40 Days for Life in Windsor outside of Windsor Regional Metropolitan Campus Hospital since the spring of 2014 and this will be our 12th campaign this fall. It starts at the end of September. And my name is Catherine and I run the group Windsor Against Abortion. We are an educational based group that does activism throughout Windsor Essex County. 
So one of the reasons why I was so excited that uh, they came out here tonight is because we actually talk about the Windsor uh, 40 Days for Life in my presentation and about some of their struggles they've been having with, uh, with the bubble zone and whether it'll impact what they do. And, and what inspires me so much about the story is you find faithful witnesses publicly trying to say a message, just get out there the truth about what abortion is and, and the fact that life has value. And, um, and, and you found that when they, they faced adversity that they, they insisted on being able to continue to say that truth. And it's, it's a really fascinating, wonderful story. Um, I'm very excited to be able to share it on this tour. And I'm very excited to have Lori and Catherine actually come out here to Chatham. So it was a great night here in Chatham. <laughs>